So I thought I would just get us started by looking at a classic four-page children's Bible story or depiction of the story of Jonah. Uh, so it looks at the first four chapters of Jonah. It says, inside a fish, one day God spoke to a man named Jonah. You must go to the city of Nineveh, God said. They are doing bad things there. You must tell them to stop. Jonah did not obey. He got on a ship. He tried to sail away from God, but God knew where Jonah was. He sent a big storm. Why has a storm come, asked the sailors. It came because of me, said Jonah. If you throw me into the sea, it will stop. So they throw Jonah into the sea, and the storm did did stop. But a big fish swam up, swallowed Jonah. Inside the fish, Jonah prayed and prayed. After three days and nights, God saved him, and he made the fish spit Jonah out on the land. Then God said to Jonah, Go to Nineveh. And Jonah went. And he told the people to stop being bad. The people listened to Jonah, and they started doing good things. God was glad that Jonah had obeyed. That's what they say happened to me? Not bad. I sound awesome. You mean you didn't do that? I like this spin. Is there more to the story? I mean, God told me to go to Nineveh, which is ridiculous. Do you know what those people are like? Horrible people. They deserve to die. They are unclean, do evil things, sacrifice children, and they're my nation's enemy. They they should be destroyed. Isn't that the message you were sent to deliver them? That they're going to get destroyed? Hoping it maybe like changes them? I mean, why deliver the news then? Well, yeah, that's what God wanted me to say. But I know what God is like. He won't actually do it. He's up to something. So instead of walking there, you went the opposite direction on a ship to flee God. The God who created and controls the earth and the seas. Yep. The one who controls the wind and the waves. Yep. The one who knows all things and is ever present. Yep. And how'd that turn out for you? Not good. I was with people who follow other gods and the storms came. And these stinking people realized that I was running from God and seeing his power and controlling these storms for my attention. So all of a sudden they start worshiping him and fully commit to his ways. You're a prophet of God. Isn't that good? Isn't that what you want? Well, then what do they do? Like they throw you over or what? I begged for it to get me away from anything to do with God. So I'm in the water, and this part gets a bit out there, but it felt like a big sea monster swooped me up, and I was inside the beast for days. And I begged to get out, because you know what fish smell like? Nasty, right? Imagine what their belly smells like. Fishy. I begged for God to have it spit me out, and I told him I'd go if it did. So sure enough, I get spat out on land and go to Nineveh, and I gave them a message. Okay, what did you say? Did you encourage them, convince them to change, tell them about God, teach them what they should do and his ways? No. I kept it short and angry. I simply yelled, 40 days from now, Nineveh will be destroyed. And that worked? They start being sad and in remorse, and then repent, even the king. So then God changed his mind in destroying these people. Yeah. Which is great news. Wrong. Wait, what? It says, like, in that book, like, here, if you you obeyed God by delivering the news, and they repented, what am I missing? I think you missed a chapter, but I like going down in history and how your story ends. I'm out. 